traveled like a stinking idiot. Call him again. No need to call me, just keep trying to tie line. I know we're off. Okay? Keep keep calling on tie line. Have you read out? It's coming in here, so we'll see if it sticks this time. Are you filming? Down to 17 seconds. Left of the game is Hayward with a two-point bucket. 78-73, south side by five. That was Kyler Douglas with point number nine for Hayward County. So 13 seconds left. 78 to 73. Southside leads it. You win it. You play for the championship Thursday night against the winner of Liberty and Bolivar. That's our game coming up next. If you lose, you're done. There's so much pressure in this semifinal game here, 7 AA. Haywood County's played tremendous tonight, and Southside has played the same way. They have, but here at the end, I, I failed to understand the, 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 the situation here. Uh, they can run clock, and they've decided not to do that. They've shot the ball down there. They've traveled. They've turned the basketball over. When this game ostensibly should be over right now, you know, yeah. and, and Haywood's played great. They have. I don't know what Southside is doing in the last two minutes of this game. Hopefully they'll hold on and win, but some of the decision-making in the last minute has not been good by the Hawks. No, the, the Hawks have fired a three when they should have been running yeah. clock. Missed it. Chris McNeil traveled on a dribble drive with no need to dribble drive. But with all that being said, it's 78-73, a five-point lead. Southside has the basketball. They must go the length of the floor. They no need to. McNeil gets it in. He's fouled. He'll shoot two. The, the team foul situation. Haywood has 10 plus. Southside has six. Chris McNeil now will shoot two. The sophomore, Chris McNeil, tonight. Yeah, Chris has seven points. And you know, Danny, I thought Haywood, around the four-minute mark, panicked a little too much. You know, they were about, down about eight or nine points. Didn't have to, but started relying on jacking up three-pointers, and that's not what they needed to do. And in those three-pointers, they didn't work it off the screen. That's right. Fouling out for Haywood County with two points. Coming in off the bench was James Davidson, so he's gone. As Chris McNeil missed a big free throw. McNeil, second, yes. His eighth point. Makes it a six-point lead. Nine seconds left. Here's Haywood, front court. Five to three, yes. Yes, but they're out of timeouts. They're out of timeouts, and that's going to do it. Oh, what a game before a packed crowd. And listen to this south side crowd who made the trip. 50 miles north on Highway 412 in this beautiful gymnasium here at Dyersburg High School. Southside wins it. 79 to 76. Now play for the Region 7.